This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I sure do enjoy being here helping you with playing the guitar. This is lesson 10 in the mini course that's all about playing basic chords and strumming. So in this lesson, we're going to continue to build on what's happened in the first nine lessons, but in this lesson we're going to continue to work with B7, which is the newer chord that was introduced in the last lesson. And in this lesson we'll also be reviewing G, C, E minor, and A working with a chord progression from House of the Rising Sun, which is one of my favorite chord progressions. So this is a great chord progression, I think. So we're working on that tune, and we're working with strumming in 3-4 time. So a little bit of review with 3-4 time, working with a new chord, and sort of reviewing some of the other ones, locking in our ability to play those. So we'll just go ahead and dive in. Of course, if you want more in-depth lessons, you want to check out the full Guitar 101 course, which uses some of my method books. And then there are method books that cover chords and harmony, which have even more detail, uh, detailed video lessons, and you can work on lots of different songs and exercises. But in this lesson, we're going to work today with the chord progression for House of the Rising Sun. Go ahead and dive in here. I'm not going to review how to play G, C, E minor, or A. You can see them up there on the board. There's also quick answer videos that can take you through how to play any of those. But B7 I will review just a little bit because this one sometimes trips up students. I've seen that a lot with my in-person students. But it's actually not as hard as it looks, even though we got all four fingers being used. I like to see that this triangular shape of having index, middle, and ring, index, middle, ring, is the same as when we play D7. So all I have to do is grab on the lower strings in that same sort of fashion and my fingers at this point well at this point for me I've been playing for a long time thousands and thousands of hours so it's no big deal either way but it's the same grab and D7 is one of the chords that we tend to learn first so it's that same grab and then all you got to do is add your pinky to fret 2 on the top string so D7 move there that helps a lot of my in-person students so I bring that tidbit to you option is to just put your index down and then try and get up the, the other three but thinking every other string is harder than just thinking that same shape that we're used to with those three fingers and then just adding the pinky. So we got that one there. Let's go ahead and look at this chord progression. So we're gonna have E minor G A C and then E minor G B7 twice. E minor, G, A, C, E minor, B7, E minor twice. The sheet music is down below. You can download it in the description below. Free PDF copy of the sheet music that I'm looking off of and using for this lesson. You can have a copy of that, but this is the chord progression. We're doing three, four times. So it's down, down, up, down, up. So one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up. Let's play through this progression nice and slow using that strumming pattern. So you're gonna have three, two, one, E minor. singing and playing this song. Before we sing and strum the chords, we play the melody. On the on the sheet music there, you've got the melody written out in both standard music notation and in tablature. If you don't know how to read either one of those, there's quick answer videos that can get you started, especially with the tablature. That one's a little easier to just understand the concept and start working on it. If you want to get better though and really master the skill and you need some help there, I have a, a book that has 200 songs and exercises for tablature gets really, really basic to some pretty challenging fun pieces. And that one has video lessons that go through each of those. And then there's also the note reading books, books one, two, um, for reading in first position, which is what we're doing here. Book three takes you through up the next. So you can learn that skill if you want to. As I'm playing, and if you're playing right along with me on the melody, and it's a great way to just develop the hands in playing these melodies, um, playing single, single notes at a time. 
It's great for the right hand and left hand development. It's also helpful to help our ear as we're learning to sing a melody, to sing right along with playing that melody. So I'm going to do that here, and you can just sing along or play and sing along, or just listen, get this in before we play all the way through. So it was three, one, two, and the count off. We'll catch that pickup note. Three, one, two. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. It's been the ruin of many poor by and Okay, let's play it nice and slow. So with the strumming and the singing, you got three, one, two, there is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. It's been the ruin of many. If you want to sing more, try taking it just a little bit faster. So you got three, one, two, there is. finish there. Okay, that wraps us up for this lesson. I hope you are having a blast. In lesson 11, in the next lesson, we're going to start working on C, which is a review, but F, that's a new chord, and G7. So some new chords and move on into that realm of playing these basic chords. That'll be lesson 11. Hope you're having fun with the guitar. We'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.